Welcome back, my art friends. Today we are gonna paint a fun little toadstool house and you can make as many toadstools as you want when you paint this. You're gonna need every color in the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, plus brown, black, and white. I like to use my medium flat brush. It's a 3 4 inch brush, as well as a um, small round brush and a medium round brush. So this one right here is a number three and this one right here is number eight. Don't forget to have a rag handy and a cup of water for painting. So let's lay out our background. So my toadstool is going to be um, covered in some greens with a rainbow over it and all that. So I want to make sure that my sky is kind of a light white blue and my base is a green. So I've got both blue and white on my brush and I'm going to make a line about a quarter of the way up. And I'm gonna paint everything above this a light blue color and everything below it just a straight out of the bottle green. Now before we let this dry for the first time, we are gonna add some clouds in the sky. So with some white paint on my medium round brush, I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna add some dabs and dots of some clouds in my sky. And what I like to do with clouds is I like to start with a straight line and then give it a couple bumps. And I like to do it when my paint is still wet because then I kind of get some wispy clouds. I like to keep my clouds being in odd numbers. So, you know, I'm gonna stop right here at three. And as they go up higher on my picture plane, I like to make them smaller. Last thing we're gonna do before we leave is we are going to add just a small bit of grass in the background that's going to go above our mushroom. So with my medium flat brush with some green and brown paint. I've got a little bit of green, a little bit of brown on there. I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna make some tall grass lines that will be behind my mushroom. Maybe I want to add some green and yellow in. Now I'm going to let this dry. When we come back, we will add in our rainbow and our toadstool houses. So now that I have my background dry, I'm gonna put my rainbow in so that it's behind my mushrooms, and then I'm gonna add my mushrooms. So my rainbow is gonna be pretty simple, you know, the normal red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So I'm gonna start with red, and I'm going to make just a thin line, curved and arched. That doesn't really bother me if some of it kind of is a little bit textured as I pull it across but if you do get that and you don't want that to be there just add a little bit of water to it and you get a slightly smoother line it's a little art trick so I'm gonna go through and just make an arched line of all of these colors and then I will move on to my shrooms
So now that I have my rainbow finished, I am gonna lay out where my mushroom house is gonna go and I'm gonna make mine a really light brown color. So a lot of white and just a little bit of brown, but I'm gonna start with the white. So I'm gonna make three mushroom houses, one in the middle and then one on each side. And I'm gonna start those with a, an oval at the base. So my middle one's gonna be a little bit bigger and my two smaller ones are gonna be off to the sides. Now from there, I am just going to kind of bring it up and add some curved line, almost looks like a vase, doesn't it? And then I could just kind of make a straight line across the top because I will put the mushroom cap on it. So just kind of a curved line. Looks like we're making some vases on here. And then as I paint these in, I'm gonna use mostly white paint, but I am gonna grab just a little bit of brown and pull that brown in there. And if you wanna add some yellow or some orange, you know, the choices are totally open for changing it up. Now, after I have these on there, I am gonna add a little bit of yellow in here and I'm just gonna put that on one side and just kind of pull that color in and let it fade into the rest. And on the other side, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of orange, just a couple dots of orange, and then I'm actually just gonna pull that color down so that I've got some streakiness in my mushroom core. So I'm gonna do that with all three. A little bit of yellow on the left, a little bit of orange on the right. And if you wanna change it up, put your yellow in the middle, that's fine too. But just to kinda of add a little bit of variation in our color. bit of brown at the very top. I'm just going to make a, a light line of brown at the very top. And then with my medium flat brush, I'm going to go and I'm just going to pull that color down, almost making a shadowy. That way we know at the top of that mushroom cap, there's just a little bit of shadow coming down. So just kind of pull that down and blend it in a little bit. I'm gonna add some clouds to the end of my rainbow and then I'll let this dry a little bit. So, paintbrush right here. All I'm gonna do is just gonna tap a little bit more of a, a cloud on here that you can see. I know some of our clouds in the background are a little bit harder to see, but this one is just a little bit more prominent. All right, I'm gonna let this dry. When we come back, we will add on our mushroom caps. So now that my painting is dry, let's go ahead and lay out our mushroom caps. Now, your mushroom cap can be kind of pointed or kind of rounded, it's really up to you. Um, I'm gonna keep mine a little bit more rounded. So I'm gonna start with my two smaller ones. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start just down a little bit on the top of the mushroom. And I'm gonna make like a, a letter C shape, see that? And then from there, I'm gonna just kind of swoop around. So I've got this fun little curve. And then I'm gonna bring it back up to a backwards letter C. Now this is kind of the base of my, my mushroom. And so from here, I'm gonna go up and I'm going to make the top cap of the mushroom. 
So I can really paint everything up top white, um, which is why I wanted to get those grasses put in first. They kind of pop up behind it. And everything down here, I'm gonna paint brown. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of follow this line around. I didn't wash my brush off. I just grabbed a little bit of brown paint. Just go ahead and paint that spacing because that's gonna be the underside of our, our mushroom. So I'm gonna do this with all three of my mushrooms and my curves should not be the same. So I do not wanna start with my letter C on the left-hand side on both. Um, I'll probably put it on the left-hand side here and the right-hand side here, swoop it around and make my cap on the top. So what that's gonna look like is starting just a little bit below. I'm gonna go over, actually, I'm gonna make this one in front, so I'm not gonna go over it. I'm gonna go behind it, swoop down, and then just kind of pull that mushroom top up. Now that I kind of have this on there, I do want to bring some of these colors up towards the top. So I am going to take a little bit of this white and just kind of pull it up. And this is where my shadows really come into play. So I've just got some white paint on my brush and I'm just kind of making small little brush lines. And I'm going to bring that brown down. And that's how we are going to get that really nice grade from our dark up top to our mushroom base. And I could just kind of pull it down on one side, make it a little bit more Now, as far as your mushroom tops go, I mean, a lot of times you see these little toadstools that have the red tops, with the white dots, but you can make it any color you want. You do not have to stick with red and white. Um, so think about that as we're kind of laying in some of our features down at the base, what colors you're gonna want at the top. We did paint them white, so just about any color you stick on top of it will work out well. But let's go ahead and add some fun to the base of our mushrooms. Now I'm gonna add a couple of windows and a door on each one. You have a choice of putting um, the same door on all of them or kind of think a little funky, make all your doors different. Same thing with windows. So if you don't love the windows that I'm using, feel free to change them up a little bit. I'm gonna make all of my windows a very light blue color. So I'm gonna mix white and blue on my palette. With a very light blue color, I am going to add some circles and some um, regular shaped windows. So I'm going to add a circle right here on this one. And I'm going to add a straight line here with a arch over it. You know, toadstool houses are meant to be kind of funky, so don't feel like you need to have the window next to it. Or maybe you wanna have it a little bit higher, or maybe you wanna have a totally different window in general. 
I'm gonna put this one just a little bit higher. I think this one I'm gonna put a window low and a window high. Two windows high. Now my doors, I'm gonna have a red door and a gray door. So I'm gonna use straight red and I'm gonna put my red door right over here. And this is going to be an arch door. Now, if you think this red is a little bit too bold and bright, it's an easy fix. Just grab a little bit of brown and drop it in there and fill that color in. That'll darken your door up just a little bit and still allow it to be a red color. Now with that same brush, I'm gonna grab just a little bit of brown paint. I've just washed the brush off, a little bit of brown paint. And right at the very top, I'm just gonna add some brown paint. I'm just gonna pull that down in little lines so that it's got a little bit of a distressed look to it. And it looks a little bit old. I mean, this is a mushroom, it's in the dirt. It's okay to have a little bit of a, an old look to it. So I'm gonna do the same thing on my other two houses. I'm gonna make, I think I'm gonna make one blue, darker blue, and one a gray color. So I'm going to let this dry. When we come back, we will add in our next round of details. Let's get our next layer on these guys. So I am going to make um, this one right here red, but I think I'm gonna make these two purple. I like to change up the colors that I have going on. So I'm just gonna paint at the top of this mushroom red. My other two mushrooms purple. Now when I'm gonna do this, I am gonna add a slight highlight to the top. So while my paint is still wet, I'm gonna add just a little bit of white to it so they can kind of show you a little bit of the, the curvature of the mushroom top. That white helps kind of pull that out. just a little bit of white on my brush right up here at the top. I'm just going to kind of pull some of that white down. Making the top of it a little bit lighter and it kind of as we come down towards the bottom kind of sweep that around. and just a little bit up here at this top curve. And I'm gonna do that on all three of my mushrooms. So I'm gonna add purple, and then a little bit of white, and then hit up that curve at the end.
let's talk a little bit now about details. So with my little round brush with some white paint, I am going to just make a couple of little curved lines under here that kind of go in towards my stalk. I can then take my finger with some white paint on it. Now, I like to make my polka dots with my finger. I think they make really great polka dots. If you don't love to do that, you can absolutely use a paintbrush um, or even like a wine cork. I mean, anything that's kind of circle shaped. You just want to make sure that your circles are a little bit different sizes. Have some fun with it. And then as far as adding detail goes, um, I want you to have fun with this. Are you gonna add a doorknob or some vines, maybe some flowers or stepping stones? So I'm gonna put myself in speed mode because I'm gonna add a whole bunch of details to this. And I want you to think to yourself about what type of decorations you can add to this. Um, look online at a couple of ideas. Think about fairy gardens. What kind of things can you add to this? So I'm gonna add some flowers, some stepping stones, some details on my door, and remember, I want you to send a picture of what you're making to our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. And there you have it. When you're finished, make sure you sign your name. I always like to put my initials in the bottom right corner. Be sure that you send us your picture on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. As always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye.